For PsychCentral.com, I'm Summer Baretsky, and this is Six Effective Ways to Deal with Bullies. When you think of bullying, what comes to mind? Probably elementary or middle school, right? You know, the kids at the park who wouldn't let you join in on the basketball game because you were too skinny or too short, and, you know, they made fun of your hair and your clothes, or, you know, that eighth grader in middle school who stole your money, or in my case, the keychains on my backpack, which left me upset. But this is all stuff that happened when we were younger. That's usually what we think of when we think of bullying. But bullying can very well happen in adulthood. It's not something that's confined to, you know, kids who are under 18. Bullying isn't confined to a certain age level. But as adults, sometimes it goes by different names like sexual harassment, stalking, workplace aggression, or scapegoating. Put simply, bullying is one person controlling or harming somebody else by the use of power. And now as adults in the workplace, that could lead to job loss. Um, at home, that could lead to problems with family members. It could lead to problems with friends. It's still definitely a problem for grown adults. Now, if you're being bullied by somebody, you may feel powerless, but there are definitely things that you can do, especially as an adult. So here are six things to try. Number one, recognize bullying for what it is. It's intimidation. It's harassment. It's when one person uses their power to control you in a way that feels uncomfortable or unwanted. Um, it can be physical. It can be mental. It can be very clear or it can be passive and subtle. Number two, understand that the bullying is not about you. It's about the bully and their need to control. It's not about any kind of flaw that you have. It's about them. Number three, think through your options. You may feel powerless, but you're, you're not. You know, there's always something that you can do. Um, if it's a bullying situation at work, you're going to want to think about going to HR. You want to weigh the pros and the cons. And if there's a chance of physical harm at all, you really do need to get somebody else involved immediately. Number four, take action. Once you've decided how you want to proceed, go ahead and do it. Make an appointment with a supervisor, um, sit down and have a conversation and open an honest conversation with the bully. Or if you want to decide to try and avoid the perpetrator, find out the best way to do that and put that plan into effect. Number five, evaluate. After a few days, you're going to want to check in with yourself. Are you still being harassed? Has the bullying gotten worse? Has it gotten better? If it hasn't really improved, you're going to want to go back to step three and reevaluate what your next approach should be. Number six, the last step in dealing with being bullied is to try and let go of the pain that has a hold on you. The longer you hold on to that pain, the more power you give to that bully. Some people need to forgive and make peace with their bully. Some people need to uh, learn how to coexist with them, and some people just need to leave all together and get that toxic person out of their life, whether that means changing supervisors or even changing jobs in some extreme cases. Now, thankfully, as an adult, you are in a much better position to deal with bullies than a child is. There's really a lot that you can do, even though you might feel powerless. You know, you can go to HR, you can go to a supervisor, um, you know, you can, you can walk away or drive away from the situation. That's not something that a child could necessarily do. Um, you can seek out therapy. You can talk to other adult friends about it to get their perspective. There's a lot of things that you can do to make yourself feel better. And mentally, adults are better able to recognize that it's the bully who is having the problem. It's the aggressor who has the issue here. It's not necessarily some kind of, you know, character or personality flaw in you, the person who is being bullied. That's not where the problem lies. Now, there's always going to be people in the world who enjoy and find satisfaction from controlling others and looking down on others, but that doesn't need to affect you forever. You can find your strength and realize what options are available for you. And the more you do that, the less power your bullies have over you. 
This video is adapted from a psychcentral.com blog post in the Sorting Out Your Life blog by Janice Harmon, L-I-S-W. It's called Six Effective Ways to Deal with Bullies. If you would like to check out her blog, you can visit it at blogs.psychcentral.com slash your dash life. And if you'd like, you can follow Janice on Twitter at Janice Harmon. That's J-E-N-I-S-E-H-A-R-M-O-N. Thank you very much for watching this week's Psych Central video and hope to see you back next week.